Hi guys and welcome to Trinket Corner. First of all, I want to thank all of you because I finally hit 500 subscribers. When I was starting this channel, I couldn't even imagine getting 25 subscribers. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. So for this special occasion, I wanted to give you something really cool. This is a huge project that consists of several parts and it didn't even turn out the way I was sketching it. But here we go. Welcome to part 1 of Whimsical Snail House. First of all, I will be making the shell for the snail. I twist the wire to form gradually growing swirls. Then I twist it again and reinforce with softer wire. I made a smaller copy of carcasses to add later. Then I wrapped some cheesecloth around the wires and covered it with watered-down PVA. When it was dry, I hot glued the edges and added the smaller part. I filled the gap with hot glue. To make the snail, twist wires as shown and add some foil. I added hot glue to keep the foil in place. Then I twisted the foil as shown to make the forms more realistic. I mix air drying clay with PVA glue. I add this substance both to the shell and to the snail. I use water to smooth down the surface. I use my cobblestone structuring stick and while the snail is still wet, I run over it to give it a little bit of texture. Mm -hmm. 
I attach a stone on the back of the snail so that the shell has something to hang on to. I also do that to shift the center of the weight so that the snail doesn't fall onto its shell every time I put it down. We're going to leave the snail alone for now and start building the house. I have cut down some cardboard walls and now I'm going to make holes for the windows Add some details, a couple of windows on the roof, a chimney, and we can start cutting bricks. This is the base for the house. After 200 hours of cutting styrofoam bricks, I was finally ready to glue them on the walls. For the top of the chimney, I used a slightly bigger piece. And I add some beams cut out from thin plywood. I cut from the same plywood tiles for the roof. And I'm more than sure that somebody in the comment section will tell me an easier and quicker way to do it, but let's just say I don't like it easy. A couple of more details to hide the place where wall meets the roof. I have decided to add a string of lights inside the house. I leave a little out to make a lamp in the balcony. I also add some lights over the porch.
I make a cut and stick out the lights so it looks as if they are coming from the wall. Now let's make some doors. I use a template to cut the plywood. I make a hole where the window will be. I twist wire to form a window frame. Then I cover everything with air drying clay. I add some wooden texture to the door, put the frame in its place and let it dry. I cut the edge of a sewing pin and turn it into a doorknob. Then I fix it with hot glue. For the window, I've cut out a small piece of transparent file, stick double-sided tape on it, and attach some tool. I used antique bronze filigree connector charms to form the hinges. Here we go, the door is ready. To form the windows, I just twisted some soft wire, added a little bit of hot glue and used the same technique as with the doors. It's time to attach windows and doors. Now let's make an acorn lamp. Take the top part of the acorn and make a hole. Make sure your lights will get through the hole. I add a piece of wire for sturdiness.
I'm going to use a silicone mold and UV resin to form a light bulb. Two was not enough, I used three pieces, but it still worked. Now we finally come back to the snail and pre-paint it. Using the same pebble technique, I attach the house to the snail. Now let's make a little balcony. Cut off the excess edges and attach it to the house. I also made three steps to the front door. Don't worry about PVA glue, it becomes invisible once it's dry. Finally, we can start painting. I covered the roof with darker brown, then I will dry brush it with lighter color. The same applies for the beams. For the bricks, I used combination of dark and light gray. I want to apologize for the quality of this video because it was taken by my phone before I purchased a professional camera.
Windows and doors will be green. I emphasize metallic parts on the doors using bronze acrylic paint. This is the end of part 1 for Whimsical Snail House. Please subscribe to the channel to see the end result in part 2.